What's going on everybody, new Silver Stacker here and thank you so much for tuning in to a new video. Guys, today we are going to test some silver and specifically we are going to test it using a Sound Money Metals pocket pinger and the stack stick. Um, I will show you exactly how these work in just a minute. Um, and I, I know a lot of people in the community use them and like them. I absolutely love mine. I do not regret buying this whatsoever. Um, but I kind of wanted to make an official review for it. So we got some coins out. We got one of everything almost. And we're going to go ahead and start testing some out. The only thing we don't have here is some gold. I do have... <clears throat> Oh, sorry. I do have gold, but it's just a one tenth ounce, so it's not going to really work for this. Um, see, as, as you can see, so with, if it's too small, you know, it, it, it doesn't work. It doesn't work like that. So, but these work on everything else: quarters, uh, nick or quarters, dollars, half dollars, etc. Um, so the cool thing that you can do with these is so when you buy your ping, your pocket pinger is what it's called. Um, it comes with this. It comes with a stack stick, which basically you can hit the side of the coin. It's wood, so it won't damage the coin nearly as much as, in, as silver would against the coin. And you can also pick up some fake coins that say fake copy on them and to kind of test against each other. So let me grab two halves. So here's a 90% half. Here's a fake one. So let's go ahead and try them out. So there's two ways you can use this pocket pinger. So one, you can pull it down and and let it hit right here. And as we all know, coins have rims that um, stick out further than the face of the coin. So the rim is the only part that hits right here. So it doesn't damage the face. If anything, it just hits this uh, rim of the coin. Um, and then these two little things, these two gray things are rubber tips. And so you can squeeze it and slide it in there nice and safe. So you can, one, flick it. Flick it like that, or you can grab the stack stick. Instead of instead of gra grabbing another coin and damaging two coins, you just use this wooden stick. See, my fa I, I don't I don't use this too much. I like to flick it. But if you have a more precious coin, you might want to use this. But as long as it's got that rim, you're good. Anyways, so there we go. So there's the real half. Now, of course, let's try the fake one. This one is obviously fake. It even says fake copy. And, and, and you can also buy these on the same website. You can get these. And if you order two ping testers, you actually get one for free. I think that's the deal. I might have changed. Maybe if you buy one, you and I don't know. Uh, check it out, though. I have a link down below in the description where you can check out the pocket fingers. Anyways, here we go. See, that does not sound right at all. Put the real one in the gun. See, that one's like a long, nice tone, and this one just a really weak, quick ping, I guess. So, let's try a few different things real quick, <clears throat> and, so, and let's see, I forgot what I was going to say right there. Okay, let's try some copper. I've never heard copper ping or pinged. So, copper just makes that short noise, so. Okay, how about bars? Can you ping bars? No, you cannot. See how they sound very weird? Because, um, okay, I'll be honest. I don't know. I, I don't know if this is correct, but I'm gonna say it as if it was correct. Uh, the reason why the coin makes noise is because it's round. It's perfectly round, and so the sound resonates through. I'm just joking. I don't know what I'm talking about, but I'm guessing it has something to do with the fact that this is a rectangle and that this is a circle. Probably has something to do with that. I, I have no idea. Um, anyways. So let's try something. Let's try a Morgan dollar. Let's put it right, put it right in the middle, right there between those two rubbers. And how does that sound? That sounds pretty good. Okay. I confused myself. I thought this was a fake one. I was like, that sound, that's a good fake. Um, here's another one. See, that makes the same noise as the fake half dollar. And then compare it to the real Morgan. There we go. And then let's hear the peace dollar right after the Morgan. Same exact sound. And let's see. Here's, here's another peace dollar. 
This one, yeah, this one's definitely fake. I got, and by the way, I got these all from the same place I got this. I'll, I'll put links for it. Um, okay, how about a Columbus half dollar, Colombian half? Let's try that. Sounds good. Let's try the Walking Liberty. They sound a little bit different. I think one might be thicker than the other. But the cool thing about, uh, the reason why I'm showing so many different examples is because each coin has its own unique sound in, in a way. See like this, I think, I can't, I can't tell if this one's thicker or not, but this one does sound a little bit different. And so, I can tell it's silver, but it just sounds different than that. Like it resonates, or it makes a slightly different tone. Um, let's try this uh, Austrian Thaler. This thing is big. Nice, nice long tone. How about a almost slicked out barber? Almost, not quite. Compared to the Franklin. I'm sorry, the audio might not be the best, but... Yeah, so, so those have a different sound. So the, anyways, the, the thing I was saying is, the cool thing about the pocket pinger or just pinging coins in general, is you start to learn each coin's specific tone. Like with Peace Dollars and Morgans, I, I can recognize that, that from a mile away. The rest of the coins I'm not too familiar with. I mean, you, you can tell if they're silver or not by the way they ping. Um, here, let's try out some 40%, because we've been trying out all 90%. So here's a 40% Ike. See, it's only 40%, but it still gets out that nice, nice ping. How about, how about a 40% Kennedy? Still nice ping. Now let's hear the 90%. This sounds like a deeper ping. This one has like a little higher pitched, I guess you could say. Okay, now here is a Columbi or Colombian. That's really funny. I, I, I have two I have two Colombian halves. That's really funny. I've got a Columbus half and a Colombia from from Colombia. This one's from America, but it's kind of funny. I, didn't, I never really thought about that. So let's try this Colombian 90 percenter compared to the Benji. They sound pretty good. They sound pr pretty similar, but I'm pretty sure this one is a little bit thicker from Colombia. Um, what else can we try? We can try a silver eagle. How about we ping our key, d our only key date? Or actually, we have two, but that actually sounds like fake. But let's find out. Is this is fake? Okay, now let's compare it to another silver eagle, real quick. Here we go. Here's the type two. Now I'll be honest with you. This is real. I th I think. I'm starting to panic. So let's try this one I know is real right here. Okay, so that, that resonates really nice. I don't know if I'm using that word right. Now let's do this one again. Something sounds off about this. I don't know about this one, guys. Okay, let's try the other one. Interesting. Okay, so I know this one is real. Now this one I got from my LCS. It's a 1996, but something does not sound right. Okay, so I think this one might actually be fake. If that's the case, we're going to be taking that to the LCS <laughs> uh, tomorrow. That's kind of crazy. This video kind of turned into me having a panic attack about my freaking 1996 possibly being fake. Let's bust out the scale real quick. I'll be honest with you guys. I was not expecting this to sound like that. So now I'm thinking it is possibly fake It, it is a key date eagle Okay, so this is 31.1 according to my scale my scale might not be exact, but let's find out what this one weighs 31.3 Let's try it one more time 31.1. Th this one does have some wear to it, to be fair. But that's interesting. So this, 1996, that sounds fake to me. Let's try the Type 2. I don't know, guys. Am I just going crazy? That There's, there's no 
There's no ping to that. Let's do a little test here. I've got a 1986, a first year. Let's see if the older ones made a different ping. I don't know why they would. That wouldn't make any sense to me. But uh, let's find out what's going on here. What do you guys think? Is that one fake? Okay, wait. Okay, this is type two. Okay, so the type two sounds perfect, just as it should. Now let's do the 86. That one has an okay ping. Now let's try the 96. I don't know guys, sometimes I look too far into this, but th okay, so the new modern one has a nice ping to it. And the 86, sorry, that's the 96. This is very dull, doesn't really ping much at all. Now the 86 sounds, it sounds fine. So what do we do when it weighs okay, but the ping doesn't sound correct? Well, this next thing I'm gonna do at home, <laughs> I did not expect this for the video, this is not planned. <laughs> We're gonna magnet test. Magnet test seems fine. Let's, let's try in the 86. 86 is good. 96 again. That's very interesting. Uh, do any of you guys have silver eagles that sound like that? Here, let me move it closer to my mic, just in case. There's no way it's supposed to sound like that, right? Okay, let's, okay, let's try the type two again. So that one has a nice long ping. This one it ends within like half a second. That's very weird. What do you guys think? Should I go have this tested at the LCS I bought it at? Um, I know he knows I bought it. So let's, I'll we'll have, have to take it down there, get it, uh, try it on a Sigma and see what happens. Um, I will be doing an update. If it is fake, will he give me my money back? I'm sure he will. Um, but more on that to come. Anyways, guys, um, I'll, I'll deal with that off camera. Sorry, I went off in a little bit of a, tangent trying to figure if that's real i still can't tell honestly um let's try a quarter i don't think we tried a quarter yet did we here's a standing liberty quarter see nice long ping sounds good now let's try just a modern 1964 quarter or 1955 Sounds a little bit different. So so what the ping tester is gonna uh, be able to do for you, see the one thing I don't like doing is doing small coins. Yeah, literally because of that. Um, I don't know. Tell me what you guys think about the ping tester. Do you have one? Do you want one? If you do want one, the link will be down below in the description where you can get one. And we didn't try out this one, the communion thingy. Let's put it right in the middle where it won't scratch anything. Sounds nice. Sounds very nice. What else haven't we tried? Let's do the uh, let's let's do the 1996 versus the 2021 again. Yeah, there's no way it's supposed to sound like that, guys. Am I right? Here's the 2022. Yeah, those are completely those are completely opposite sounds. Let's hear it compared to the fake peace dollar, or sorry, the fake Morgan. Fake Morgan has kind of a weird sound to it. So uh, let's try it against that one. They do sound a little bit different. See, this one just doesn't go. Tell me what you guys think of that. Sorry, I'm not, I'm not I'll, I'll, stop, I'll stop doing that. But let me know what you guys think of this 96 quarter or Silver Eagle. That's That seems very odd to me. I'm going to do some close up looks at it uh, compared to a real one that, that I know is real and kind of do some more research and then maybe tomorrow or depending on what time it is right now, maybe I'll go take it up there today. But anyways guys, that's how you use the Sound Money Metals Ping Tester and Stack Stick. And you can, it can help you test your silver without worrying about dropping your coins. It doesn't really damage it. It comes with extra rubber tips as well. Uh, you just slide it in there, just let it down nice and slow and ping. 
But anyways, guys, if you want to buy one, all the money I receive from this is going to go towards giveaways. And also, it's also going to partly go towards cameras. But the money that I get from selling these is, honestly, it's probably going to be 100% of it is going to go towards giveaways. Um... I don't know. It's it's a good way to it's a good way to fund giveaways, and this is actually something that I believe in. That's why I show it off so much on the channel. So if you want one, test it out for yourself, and go buy one on my link below. Money will go towards giveaways, and I appreciate it, guys. And if you want to pick up some fake coins, there you you can as well. Um, however, if, if I, th I think it, look, last time I bought mine, um, if you buy two, you get you get a free coin for free. Now they might have changed that to maybe you get two. I don't know. Go check it out. I don't know. <laughs> okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you have any questions, leave them down below. And everyone, have a great day.